Okay, I would like to call to order the Monday, November 18th meeting of the Monona City Council. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alder Groupie. Here. Alder Moore. Here. Alder Kitzler. Here. Alder Wood. Here. Alder Core. Here. Alder Thomas. Here. Mayor O'Connor. Here. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the November 4th meeting? Move to approve. Is there a second? Second. Any corrections or additions? Joan, I just had one on page six. Uh, you refer to page six. Oh, I'm sorry. What should be the I have page four. I'm sorry, what? I don't have it on online, so can you tell me which page yeah, of the Yeah, hang minutes? on a minute. I'm looking here. Let's see. Okay. It would be page at page six also. Oh, page four. Under reports. Okay. Um, I reported about the current receiving a gold award, and you refer to it as the commons. The commons. Yeah. Well, because. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Thank so. you. Anyone else have anything? All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Uh, there are no appearances. There is a public hearing tonight. Would anyone to receive public input regarding the proposed 2020 operating budget? Is there anyone who would like to speak? Apparently not. Okay, then I will declare the public hearing closed. Uh, next item is the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Consent agenda is approved. Moving on to unfinished business. Item 1A, consideration of, of resolution 19-11-2380, adopting the 2020 operating budget and establishing a tax levy put forth by myself. Uh, we have four amendments. I'll move adoption of the budget. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Um, so I guess we will just discuss each of the amendments again, take them up individually. Uh, amendment 1 or 20-01 to increase a public works crew employee wage from 23.75 to 24.75, 80% of the salary is allocated to general fund and 20% to stormwater. Uh, is there a motion to approve this? Approval. Second. Any <coughs> discussion? Further explanation? Put forth by Alders Kitzler and Kerr. Okay. Yeah. Andrew, oh. did you? I was just going to say I'm happy to answer any questions anyone had. But. Okay. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Amendment is approved. This, uh, amendment 20 02. <coughs> to reduce the traffic control maintenance by $2,000 to account for the salary increase amendment. Uh, even with the decrease, funding of this line item is still above the four-year average. This is also put forth by Alders Kitzler and Kaur. Is there a motion to approve this? Move to approve. I'll second. And this would basically approve or pay for uh, the previous amendment. Correct. Any questions or discussion about this one? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Amendment is approved. Amendment 2003 to increase the media coordinator position from 1750 to 1825 per hour and to increase the other revenues by 1920 for the school share of recording the school <coughs> board meeting per the city school partnership board meetings. This was initially, this additional income was initially not included in, in the original budget. Is there a motion to approve this? Move approval. Second. Second. Any questions or discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The amendment is approved. And finally, the final amendment to increase the youth services coordinator salary by $1,000. This is at the library. Total increase with FICA and retirement is $1,145 to fund the amendment by reducing $395 from the library equipment maintenance, $250 from library building maintenance, and $500 from Madison, Madison marketing, which is not needed now in 2020 and had been budgeted as part of the sustainability budget. This is uh, put forth by Alder Coor. 
Is there a motion to approve this? Move approval. Second. Anyone have anything to ask about this? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. So we are back to the original amendment. Mark, do you want to give us what kind of numbers we're talking about for the average increase? And yeah. <clears throat> the average increase right now. Should we have them go up to the Yeah, yeah why don't you come up to the front? Sorry. And then Doug, you want to do one? Yeah, I wanted to ask him how much do you use to do Overall budget increased by 696,182. Um, we are right at the levy limits. Um, the effect on an average house um, currently is $183. If you have a house that increased from 317,100 to 340,000, which is the average assessed house. Okay, and Alderwood? Yeah. Uh, Mark, how when we in the budget summary that we got on page three it showed at that time we had 300 we had 310,139 over the 20 percent policy in uh, working capital or fund balance how much did we use of that for the in the capital budget um that's what it proved we're down right now we're currently down to uh, after budget amendments for the capital <clears throat> we're over by 229,999, so basically 230,000. Um, that brings us to 23.48%. I'm sorry, what did you say, 23? 0.48, yes. After the capital budget amendments. And I know, Mayor, there was some reasons that you felt we needed to not take it all the way down to 20%? There's a few us? things that we're, um, that we're thinking might come up and that we may need fund balance for. For example, um, you've probably all heard that Fire Chief Sullivan is retiring. We may very well have to um, <clears throat> allow some money for an increase in salary when we go out to search for his replacement. Um, we m are considering doing a salary study more um, of a compensation in class compensation study. class classification study depending on the results of what another local community is doing which also would cost some money we've got a few things like that that we'd like to keep a little bit in reserve so that we can keep it at about 20 was our thought or about 21 i guess so that if if we have about 21,000 available then we if we took it down to we have could take it down to 20 without although it's mark we, our policy is to keep it between 15 and 20. Correct. Right. So what's the percentage increase on the average home? Uh, our our share is 100. Percentage increase? Yes. Okay. About nine percent. How much? About nine percent. If you went from nine percent. If you went from, if you take the average from last year, is one of those tricky things. If you last year your house was three hundred seventeen thousand, you know this is you know an average of three hundred forty thousand. Um, then it's a nine percent increase. But if you, if you in their payment. Yeah, but if your assessment stayed the same and it's already went up to go up as much, it's not going to be as much. So it's really kind of where you fall in that. So if my, if my, if, does that make sense? No, no it that doesn't make no. sense. Right. That can't be right. Mark. If I paid, say, $6,000 last year, $183 is 9%. That's like 0.05%. What's that? Did I do it wrong? No, not just numbers.
Right, it's 183 divided by 345. Yeah, so you said it would just be on yeah. the city portion, yeah. but still. Yeah. So it's 0.05. Nine percent. Nine percent. So he's talking about if your assessment has gone up, factoring that into the increase. And so if your assessment didn't go up, your yeah, increase is not going to be 9%. Yeah, it's really where you fall in between that spectrum. Yeah. yeah. So it's one of those tricky things. So, so to say 9% is a little, isn't necessarily true. Well, yeah. It may be true for some people. So if yeah. you took, if, my question is, if you took my, the city share of my taxes last year, and you and and you took this year's. How much is is the percentage over last year going up on my house? I don't care whether it's my. Nine percent. I mean that's. That's yeah. that that's huge. That doesn't seem right. That's not right. Yeah. Well, Andrew, you just did the numbers, right? For for him. Yeah. I mean, I I just did. <coughs> I'm no math major here. Uh, 183 divided by 340,000. That would be 0 0.05 percent. But your guys are 340,000 on our house. I'm talking yeah, about if you look at what last year's tax bill would have been for that. So if you go to the page, I don't know, page yeah. I don't have it in front of me. If you go to the tax bill page, and I, I forgot to bring it in. Well, like Doug has that page number. I'm not lying. Uh, uh, Eleven. Page Eleven. If you use it, that, use that as your. Uh, basis to do the calculation. And if you look at the summary, it does say 9%. Yeah. If, you, if you look on page 5 of the, the budget, the total city property tax levy would go up 9.26%. That's the total. But, you know. So the levy is going up 9%. Right. right. Which would be correlated to what your tax bill roughly would be if you follow it. But not the increase on an average house. So the levy's going up, but we've added right. new tax base. Right. Did we add significantly new tax base? Well, all of TIF 2, TIF didn't two. we? So isn't the equalized tax rate, isn't that kind of what we're looking for, the 3.9? Oh. I mean, we've always known what percentage there the city share was going up. Mark? Uh, I mean, the, you know, if you look at, um, just look at the, you know, city, that page with a tax bill, you'd use that. You know, you'd last year, you'd, if you're a $317,000 house, you pay $2,080 for our portion. In 2019, you pay $2,226, which is a difference of $183. Uh, dollars. You divide that by Last year's amount, that's 9%. So what was last year's? 2080? Uh, 2080. And this year it's 2,226? 2,263, I'm sorry. So it's a $183 difference, which is what you said. Yeah. So I think if, if we think that there's a portion, I agree with Doug, that if there's a portion even if it's a hundred thousand that we can knock off, because if we took a hundred thousand, that would still leave a hundred thousand over the twenty percent. I ran some numbers today. Yeah, basically, it fees about one hundred fifty thousand, which still keep us at basically twenty one percent. So, so what would that take that down to? Um, a couple of seconds. On the average house, I guess. You're talking about the tax bill portion, what that would take it down to? Um, do we really think we're going to be able to do a salary study next year? Wouldn't we probably take a bit of time to do an RFP first? Do you think we could turn it I'm around? I'm not sure. It all depends on. We, 
aren't planning for it necessarily because we're waiting for the results of a study that Lana Key is doing right now. So mm -hmm. I think Brian thought it would cost what about ten to fifteen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, that's just to have the study done. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's not to pay for the results of it, which is a whole other story. Yeah. Alder Moore and then well, Alder Groupie, did you have a question? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, my question is primarily, are we, is our motion, I didn't hear a motion on the floor, are we, is there another amendment under consideration? Well, or, we're, or, or we're or trying to figure, Doug would like to make a motion to decrease, okay. uh, to increase the amount of uh, fund balance paid toward the debt, which would have the effect of decreasing the amount of the taxes on a given home. But we're trying to figure out what that amount would be. Just right. one second. Okay. Um, I guess right. I would just say, well, I certainly appreciate that. Um, somebody who has uh, probably a higher tax bill than a lot of people since I'm on the lake. Um, I, I would just be a little bit concerned that we deplete that balance now and that it would just mean that we would put our, you know, we would be in, in caution against lowering it too much from the standpoint of if we reduce the tax base now, then it seems like next year, conceivably, to get what we need to to just cover operating, we would end up having to increase even more and milk any kind of, pen, you know, see what I'm saying? That it just seems like... Right, we do this quite often. We have done this quite often in previous years, but Brian, do you want to address that? No, I, it's, a, it's a fair question. I, I, the reason why we'd be taking it out of um, debt service rather than the operating side is mm -hmm. that you levy separately for the debt service so right. you sure. can still levy the max amount for operating that you need to fund you know, right. your operations for the next year right. but the debt is a separate line item right so what is it I, I, I appreciate that I mean I, I mean I, I understand that it's a separate line item it just um, we just received criticism previously this year you know about what kind of reserve we have, which effectively is our fund balance, um, uh, and from some citizens, and you know, well, I think um, some citizens didn't think we had a reserve. Is that what you're talking about? That they too. Were that too. To <laughs> At that point, we had about a 25 percent reserve. Right. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Th th there is a reason that we have such a high bond rating, and it's because we have been very judicious about maintaining an appropriate fund balance right and and we've done that at 20 percent so i think as long as we stay above the 20 percent plus the percentage that you you and the administrator think that we need to cover um potential costs next year um i i surely think we need to get up below nine i, I can see the headline in the community here all city taxes go up nine percent yeah, I'm just saying. Doug, I, I got the number if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, if you use 150,000, uh, it brings the tax increase uh, to 142 dollars, so it's about a 40 dollar, 40 dollar decrease. So it brings about seven seven percent. Um, I did get the school levy too just recently, so um, I know that they're were two two separate things. Um, theirs is uh, theirs went up one point basically one point four million for our share. So theirs is um, right around nine percent too. A little. Theirs went up nine percent. Are you saying? Yes. But obviously, theirs is a much bigger part of our tax bill, right? right. Yes. Yeah, so <coughs> ours would be twenty seven percent of the tax bill. Done. Yeah. So just on the the. The fund balance that we have um, at the risk of repeating myself because I'm sure I've gone through this before but in in 2003 we had about a 7% fund balance right and we were at risk from the bond rating agencies of being downgraded and at that point with under mayor call and the council adopted this 15 to 20 percent policy and it took us a few years to get up to the 15% and then uh, we were able to upgrade our, I think our bond rating has been upgraded twice. Yes. Since then. But at some point, you know, we're, I think we're holding on to more of the residents' money than, <coughs> than we need to under a judicious uh, fund balance policy. So, um, 
I think having it at 21 percent is more than more than adequate. Okay. So I would. So then I, I would move that we apply one hundred and fifty thousand dollars of the fund balance towards the debt service. Second. Any further discussion, Alder Thomas? I just was going to add to what Doug was saying that if we keep too much in there, we um, put ourselves out to criticism for taxing when we have too much money in the bank. Yeah. It's kind of a fine line. Sure. I just I appreciate the clarity. I was just trying to get to um, also get to my understanding in terms of the bond rating. I wasn't sure whether it was related to us being over 20 percent or if it was related, you know, related to us just having better management policies. I mean, when we improved our, obviously you just said, when we improved our position we improved our bond rating and so I just didn't I was trying to get clarity around that as well just yeah. to but there but in terms of that bond rating as long as we stay in the 15 to 20 we're fine Correct. that's my understanding yeah is that right uh, yes and and as I think you hit two on our our management of these departments funds because that's one thing they look at we can have the policy but if we're not actually to, uh, managing our expenses when we budget every year they would still knock us and uh, we the department heads have all stayed within their budgets or where we're supposed to be, and we've always done well. So you know, it's both of them working together has really helped our uh, you know bond rating. So it's a combination of the two of them okay. working together. But you're yeah. right. If we don't spend the operating up to the levy that we're allowed, then we would forego forego it that increase next year. Correct. Right. It's kind of a strange way to do it. Right. Okay. Just one last thing. Um, I mean, we, as you said, we, we've done this before, so we've all routinely taken it down to close to 20%, if not all the way down to 20%. Right. So. Point, uh, point of clarification, are we talking about dropping it to 21% or with the figure? To okay. Anyone else? I guess I'd like us to see, to see us go all the way down to 20. I just don't see the benefit of, of keeping it at 21. I guess because we do think we'll need some extra funds next year that we aren't going to be able to take out of anywhere else. For instance, raising the fire chief salary, most likely. It just seems that whenever you hire someone in a new administrative position, you end up having to advertise at a higher salary. Alder Thomas? That, I, I think it's good. I'd like to go down, but I think it's good to keep the, the cushion for two reasons. One, because you may need money this year. Two, because we don't know what's going to happen with next year's budget, and if we want to stay under the levy limit, we may have to use something. So having a cushion there is, is a good thing, I think, in my opinion. Especially if we continue having snow, <laughs> we may end up having to pay for a lot more overtime and salt and whatever I mean we're already over budget right for this year yeah anyone else okay so we have the motion to uh, take 150,000 did you have something can I ask sure. a question mark could um, <clears throat> in the next middle of the fiscal year could if we decide we're at a comfortable place where we could pay off another percentage point of that for to debt is that it a budget amendment that we could entertain in the beginning part or middle part of next year? Or are we committed now to only You're make committed now? Okay. Anyone else? Okay, so the motion on the table is to spend 150000 of the fund balance to go towards debt service payment. Joan, do you need a roll call for that? Not for an amendment. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The amendment passes. Uh, any further questions about the operating budget itself? Um, we still don't have the final the final number yet. We'll get that. Oh. Um, we don't have the counties. The county approved their budget, I believe, last week, but they haven't sent us all the municipalities their worksheet that says what they're portioned to ours to what we are. So once that is, I'll get a mill rate. So I'll send that out to everybody with the new what the mill rate is going to be. With that, and usually the tax bills will probably go out. Time everything's done, they roughly go out the first week of December 
um, is when everything probably when we'll send the tax bills out by end of the first week. Okay. Any further questions or comments about the operating budget as amended? Okay, Harry. Now, will the clerk please call the roll? Alder Thomas. Aye. Alder Groupie. Aye. Alder Moore. Aye. Alder Kitzler. Aye. Alder Wood. Aye. Alder Coor. Aye. Budget is approved. I'd like to thank all the council and all the staff who are here for your work on trying to keep it in line as much as we could. Um, so I think it's, we've done a good job. So thank you. And thank you, Mark, in particular for all your crunching of the numbers. Um, okay, we will move on to one more item of unfinished business, item 1B, consideration of ordinance 11-19-723, adopting a records retention schedule put forth by the city clerk. Is there a motion to approve this? Second. Second. Joan, did you have anything else to add about this? I really had nothing to add, Mayor. And this is basically replacing? It replaces our current um, schedule and reduces redundancies and adopts the state schedule. Any questions about this? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution is, or ordinance is approved. Um, under new business, we have three items, all of which are starred for immediate approval. Item 2A, consideration of resolution 19-11-2385, authorizing a petition to the Office of the Commission of Railroads to construct an at-grade bike trail crossing on Southtown Drive, put forth by the Public Works Director. Is there a motion to take this out Hope of order? to suspend the rules and take this item out of order. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Is there a motion to approve? So, I would have moved approval of the substitute amendment, which I think everyone got by via email. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay, Dan. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the, the substitute resolution did make it in the online packet as well, so it is out there. Um, I handed out a, a, a draft drawing uh, prior to the start of the meeting. To give you a visual of the capital city bike trail connection, probably just to the right of the center of the page, you can see the lines going up and down the page. That's where the railroad tracks are. So we're seeking council authorization to send a petition into the office of the commissioner of railroads to connect our sidewalk that ends on South Town Drive, about 75 feet north of the tracks, uh, crossing the tracks to about 100 feet south of the tracks to the capital, capital city trail. We're seeking uh, permission to put in at grade crossing in. Uh, that's, uh, that's basically the resolution in a nutshell, is seeking the, uh, the railroad's permission to do that crossing. So. Do you want to discuss your uh, well, Yeah, well, I have a question for Dan. Um, it's hard to tell here, but will this, the, the new bike path crossing, be within the existing street right of way or outside of it? In the city of Monona, it is going to be in, but you can see where the town of Blooming Grove uh, line is just south of our sidewalk. Um, we've already contacted the town of Blooming Grove. We do have their blessing. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the right of way line is there, uh, but you can see further south of the tracks to the left of your page. Uh, we're going to drift a little bit to the east. Um, I'm not sure if all that is within the, the road right of way. I'm assuming it is just because of the location of the trail. Um, okay. But we, we, we have reached out to those uh, entities uh, prior to us putting the 2019 budget together. So uh, we met on site a while ago, and, and everybody seems to be on board with this. So. Okay. So um, if it's within the existing right-of-way, we don't have to get an order from the Office of the Commissioner of, of Railroads. We could do it with the agreement of the railroad. They could, you know, alter the crossing, put in this path crossing. Okay. Um, however, it may, it's probably still good to go ahead and pass this and, and uh, you can go ahead and file a petition with the OCR to have that in place 
I would I would agree uh, simply because on this year's sheet it does not state where the right of way is, and um, I don't think passing it is going to uh, do us any harm. Right. Um, but at least we have the support of council going forward with the uh, equity costing. Anyone else? Is this the project that's in this year's capital? It is in the 2019 capital. Um, we plan to do the construction in 2020. Um, we had an idea that working with the railroad would probably take us a while. I know the engineer reached out to the railroad back in May and we finally got some response back now. So that's, um, but I think they were anticipating that all along that okay. uh, it'd be a 2020 construction. Anyone else? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item, consideration of resolution 19-11-2383, approval of participation in the Wisconsin Bureau of Transportation Safety Grant titled 2020 Capital Area OWR Task Force, put forth by the police chief. This is also started for media approval. Move to suspend the rules and take this item out of order. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Is there a motion to approve? Move hmm. approval. Second. Kurt. Thank you. For your approval consideration tonight is a $10,000 grant for OWI enforcement uh, that would begin November 20th and go through September 30th of 2020. The $10,000 is for uh, overtime wages. There's a 25% match, which is standard for these grants. That's $2,500 that can come from uh, on-duty traffic activity and fringe benefits. It's the same grant we've been doing the last couple of years. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item 2C, consideration of resolution 19-11-2384, approval of participation in the Wisconsin Bureau of Transportation Safety Grant titled 2020 Dane Suburban Seatbelt Task Force, also put forth by the police chief, also start for immediate approval. Move to take this item out of order. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Is there a motion to approve? No approval. approval. Second. <laughs> Kurt. Right, thank you. The 2020 Dane Suburban Seatbelt Grant is $16,000 for traffic enforcement wages. Uh, that also run November 20th of this year through September 30th of 2020. Again, the 25% match is $4,000. Again, it can be paid through straight time traffic activity and fringe benefits. Questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, next, reports of committees, commissions, et cetera. Alder Thomas. No report. Alder uh, Gore. The 2020 Loud in the Library tickets went on sale today. Um, you can purchase them at the circulation desk in the library or at City Hall um, because uh, we're offering a new. Um, ability to purchase them at City Hall this year because the library is going to be on reduced capacity when we do the carpet and so uh, making two locations for purchase um, seemed like a good idea. Um, they're also available online so you can buy them at home in your pajamas if you prefer. How much are they? $25. Doug? Uh, just report that the MPO at its uh, November meeting uh, voted to defer action on the proposed dynamic part-time shoulder use project, DPTSU. You can tell the DOT is involved because it has an acronym. It's basically using the inside emergency, what is now the emergency lane, as a traffic lane uh, during peak hour volumes with what they call the intelligent transportation system along with it where it will be monitored by security or by video cameras uh, from a central location um, that would have signs to turn on and off the whether you could use it or not. Um, the, although the project's being funded by the state, the MPO has to sign off on it because it's part of the regional transportation plan. Um, there was some opposition, um, in particular from some of the Madison reps on the MPO. Um, 
So we'll see, uh, it, at a minimum, if it gets approved, I expect it to be a split vote. And it will be up for action at our December meeting. If it doesn't get approved by MPO, mm -hmm. does that make any difference? They can't do it. Oh. It has to be, we have to amend the regional transportation plan okay. to include it. So. Thank you. Alder Kitzler. No report. Alder Group B. Um, just a sustainability note, I wanted to report out that um, as all of us were notified today that um, Monona's Adopt-A Storm Drain program officially hit 101 storm drains adopted by 52 households, which was our 219 goal. So feeling good about it. So still can adopt more if, if people are interested and want to know. And more information can be found on mymonona.com. Okay. Alder Moore. Nothing to report. City Clerk. Um, I do have a report. Um, the presidential preference primary will be on uh, April 7th, 2020 on that ballot and there will, that will also include <coughs> Court of Appeals judge and the county supervisor. So it's going to be a very busy um, election uh, because it also includes three uh, alders, Alder Kitzler, Alder Groupie and Alder Coors terms to end and Judge Mike Finley. Um, he is a four-year uh, term. Declarations of non-candidacy are due Friday, December 27th at 5 o'clock. Packets are ready for nomination paper circulation December 1st, and they are due back January 7th. Um, we added uh, sign code information. Um, uh, City Administrator Ghetto requested that so that we're clear on where signs can be placed and how many and uh, that type of thing. So that was a uh, little process to work with the city planner and the city attorney on to get the correct uh, language on that. I'd like a shout out to voters, please register early. Uh, it's gonna take you longer at the polling place. We'd really appreciate you being registered ahead of time so you can come right in, go to a Badger book, get signed in, get a ballot and vote. So please register early. Um, I did participate in the library's many, uh, excuse me, one community, many voices interview process and it was painless. Uh, Ryan Claringball does a nice job of making you feel comfortable. So if anyone's on the fence about providing a, a, a audio interview, um, don't hesitate, it's really kind of fun. Um, and then I will be off all week uh, next week to enjoy the holiday and I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Do you want to the preliminary? I'm sorry? What was the date of the presidential primary, the preliminary? Can you repeat the date? The date was, Ap the, that will be the April 7th ballot. So there will be a primary in February most likely, okay. but um, the presidential preference primary will be in April 7th. Got it. Thanks. Just a, <coughs> just a quick note and reminder. I think there's one more question. Well, Sorry, uh, just one more question for Joan. Um, if someone's concerned about their registration, <coughs> can they stop by City Hall to see if they're currently registered? Yes, if you have any um, concern about your registration, you can check online at My Vote Wisconsin. You can call City Hall and we will look you up. Uh, you can stop in, we'll be happy to look you up then too. Thank um, you. So it's, there's many ways to check it and if you are concerned, if you've changed your name or moved even within the city, you do need to register. So please get that, get that going, check your registration, make sure if you've made any changes at all that they did uh, become effective. Thank you for that question. Thanks. Uh, just a brief note, uh, just a reminder to the council members, uh, for our next city council meeting, we will not be in this location. We will be actually over at the community center uh, in the main room there. Uh, the reason for that, again, is because of the um, carpet installation work that's going on in the library. This room will be taken up with library materials, so we'll be relocated for one meeting. Okay. Um, you probably have all heard that leaf collection resumed again today, so uh, I think crew is going to keep going as long as they can. Um, we've been hearing a lot about that recently, but it's with the snow that trucks just don't work when there's a lot of ice, the, the filters on the leaf trucks don't like that. So um, hopefully people keep raking and we'll get it all cleaned up in time. Um, in terms of Bridge Road, I think the latest we heard is it's they have striped it. They're doing uh, some additional work on the bridge, and MG&E had some work to finish, and I think we're hoping to reopen that later this week. So they did get the ended up getting the one layer 
of asphalt laid and <clears throat> they'll be coming back in the spring to repair what's probably going to get damaged a little bit in the winter and put additional layers on so it'll be complete. Um, and the only other thing I had was I guess to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Alder Thomas? Um, holiday schedule for meetings are we? Public safety is not meeting. I understand public works is not. Is the council meeting twice in? Yes, the council will be meeting twice. We had hoped to skip the second meeting, but it should be a, the second meeting should be a fairly short meeting. But yes, there will be on the 16th. So, Mayor. Sorry, I just had uh, one thing I forgot about, um, which is that uh, residents within the last week or so should have received a flyer um, from um, our utility, Madison Gas Electric. Um, regarding free LED light bulbs and other light, um, other energy saving uh, uh, devices, all of which are free to um, to those who are MGD customers, and I would strongly encourage everybody to take advantage of that. Um, use that flyer and the contact information um, to save energy in your home. There's a lot of misinformation out there about LED bulbs and other. Uh, important energy saving devices uh, and uh, um, I just encourage people to take advantage of that it's a nice nice offer by your utility and they can come down here and see how bright they are <laughs> That's right. okay anything else uh, all in favor of adjourning say yeah. aye. Yeah. aye oh I'm sorry we have an appointment I almost made it through without missing anything there is one appointment, uh, Rebecca Bernstein, as the second alternate to the Zoning Board of Appeals, effective immediately through April 2022. Is Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move, Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. Awesome.